All right. All right. So what are you? What's going on here? So we're loading the grounds into the top, and I'm going to start filling it. It's going to add cold water and hot water to essentially uh, put water in below our set temperature. Um, and it's going to heat it to the set temperature using steam. The thermistor in the chamber here essentially measures that. Um, so once we hit our set temperature, which is 190 here, I'll, I'll put the coffee into the into the water, and it'll essentially start a, a pre-infusion cycle. Last 10 seconds. Um, we'll see that happen in a few seconds here. We're at 160 degrees. Um, and it'll stop as soon as I hit 190. You can see it on the touch so now what, what so what's now going we're on? So we're just pre-infusing. Since we got to our set temperature, we didn't want to, you know, uh, put the coffee in before we hit set temperature. We're just going to let it pre-infuse for a second. Now the brew cycle is going to start. We added a little bit of cold water there to counteract the steam. It's going to agitate. Um, and then we're going to essentially agitate the grounds uh, using the steam. And then... Uh, and then those will stop and we'll essentially start our brew process. Um, you can you can program as many brews uh, like agitation cycles um, for you know duration and amount um, for each different roast that you want, as well as your set temperature, or temperature profile, um, controlled by adding more or less um, squirts of cold water with the steam cycles. Um, so you can raise or lower the temperature throughout the process. Um, we have 10 seconds left on this one. Um, when it's done, essentially there's a vacuum being created down in there. So lift this up the vacuum and pull the, the water from the coffee. Um, you can inject cold water at the end to, uh, to increase or decrease that vacuum amount. Um, and, uh, and you can see here too, you can also manually um, extract the point up on it. Oh. And it all goes in the bottom chamber, you're ready to pour it out. Um, whatever, whatever number and then uh, the grounds yeah. just come out the top like this in a puck and you use essentially a modified pitcher rinser to um, backflow uh, the screen and rinse all the grounds out and you're good to go. Very cool.